Hello, welcome to our core user group 2023. My name is Shiva Kumar and I am a solution architect. Today, I will present a demo about digital twin for optimizing CNF configurations. Let's understand what digital twin is. It is a digital version of a physical system that can behave like the original sibling, but in a digital space. It can produce results that are predicted based on inputs fed to it. So how can we harness it for Nokia Core? Core network elements are already in digital form. We expect their twins should perform tasks that are hard to conceive from the production network and provide state machine model output. In this demo, we will show how Nokia TAS Digital Twin Configuration Validator removes complexity in analyzing the Nokia TAS MCS digit analysis and provides an uncluttered graphical view indicating success or failure status for a given call scenario. Two major objectives will be accomplished with this Digital Twin in today's demo. First is to validate the set of preconceived regression test cases considering the updated end task configuration and second is to create test case pertaining to the configuration change, that is for the new service to be introduced. These test cases are built to mimic the mobile originating call from serving CSCF. For each of the above test cases, Digital Twin will validate and provide pass or fail status. For the failure test cases, relevant parameters should be updated in the configuration XML and then should be validated again to ensure that there are no failing test cases. Digital Twin provides end-to-end -end digit analysis call flow visualization that is created dynamically for each test case. Nokia TAS MCS is one of the complex network elements in the IMS subsystem, having a great deal of configuration possibility. Digital Twin can help validating the new configurations based on the test input and validation checks. Let's take a closer look at the steps involved in this process. First is to download the running configuration from Nokia TAS MCS. In the second step, make changes as per the new service to be introduced and upload it to the digital twin. Third step is to import regression test cases and validate. This is to ensure that all existing call flows are intact with the new changes made to the configuration data. In addition, build new test cases pertaining to the service being introduced using the digital twin GUI. Pass fail status of these test cases will be shown after validation. Fourth step is to correct the configuration based on failed test case and perform the testing again to ensure that all failures are resolved and the configuration is fit for uploading to the production node. As a final step, the digital twin validation configuration file shall be uploaded to the production environment and ready for the new services. Let me start the demonstration. So here is the Nokia TAS Digital Twin MCS Configuration Validator. And this is the screen where we start our configuration validation. The first step is to browse the file, which is the configuration XML from your production system, and then upload it to the Digital Twin tool. Let's say now that it is uploaded, the next step is to import the test profile. Before importing, I would like to show the contents of the uh, contents of this file. So here, as you can see, uh, there is a block of uh, test case which contains the input parameters and then the validation section. So these are the parameters that are uh, truly from Nokia TAS MCS and which needs to be validated. And this is the validation rule or the validation case that we need to verify for each of the respective test case. So here we have given like six to seven test cases as an example. So let me now import this test profile. So here we have the browse to, to do that. Okay, I choose this file, which is in the JSON format. And now we can see that the file is uploaded. Perform the regression testing by pressing this perform test. So it takes a couple of uh, seconds and, and depending on the uh, large volume of the data, it would take uh, uh, some time to put that. But here you go. Here you can see that all the test cases that are given in the input file have been listed and, 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 and it's, it's put in horizontally starting from test case one up to test case seven, right? So for against each of the test case, we see the, we see the validation result, whether it is pass or fail. So the click marks, tick mark shows its success and, and the cross mark shows it's a failure. Right? So 
on the on the bottom what we can see is the end to end uh, call flow starting from the end point up to the uh, digit analysis and even further towards uh, uh, the the outgoing invite uh, sending analysis if at all is applicable right so this is the call flow that that we will see for each test case a little bit going ahead uh, for for each of these uh, configuration there are different colors that you are seeing here so the color which is uh, orange and reddish is is basically to show that the uh, the information or the digits that are given are not uh, matching right so the matching cases are given in this color and whatever is matching input is is given in the uh, green color so on top of it the the solid green color is the one which says whether the validation is is successful or failure so here in this case we see that the validation is successful that whatever the input that is given to identify under extended pre analysis the result should be origin original dialing class 5 is successfully validated if i take an another example here is the one which which contains a, a different call flow starting from the end point go through the intelligent network and all the pre analysis up to the uh, digit analysis uh, this is the call flow uh, so it's basically a prepaid mo call uh, which is making a call towards a, a particular uh, Uh, number which is one two three four five as shown here, this service is supposed to uh, suppress the trigger uh, using the intelligent network sub analysis, but unfortunately the configuration is not great that that uh, it it is not getting suppressed here. So in that case we need to uh, fix this configuration and then uh, run the validation. Similarly, as I mentioned, the second objective that is to create a new test case. So we can create a new test case using the GUI. So first section is to include the input parameters. So let me type the data that needs to be provided as an input. So this number analysis data contains the details related to the um, the digits, and and we can uh, include the the called party, uh, called number, sorry, called number, and then the type of format. All these attributes we can add it. And where we want to do this validation? Suppose we want to do this validation in digit analysis. by checking whether it is reaching the proper end point or not can be uh, checked here so i'm including all the details that are needed to be validated as well uh, so this is an example and then we add this uh, test case now the test case is added perform the test here we go so here again it says that it's failed it it, it means that the configuration for which we are we are looking for the validation is not successful that means that the call is the call flow is happening through multiple analysis and it it is finally not ending up in the end point rather it is ending up in a special route right so this is the reason why it is uh, uh, failing here now we reach the end of entas digital twin configuration validator demo in summary time and effort needed for configuration validation could be significantly reduced using digital twin Additionally, configuration errors can be eliminated when a new configuration is introduced in the network by using Digital Twin Configuration Validator. I hope this Digital Twin will help you to validate your network configurations in future. Thank you for your attention.